Hey everyone, I'm Chrissy, and in today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to edit the captions or subtitles in your YouTube videos. This is really important because while YouTube is awesome and they automatically add captions for you, sometimes the AI that does it doesn't quite get the words right. Maybe it doesn't spell them right or uses the wrong words, so sometimes you need to go through and fix it. Now to do this, you do need to be logged into your YouTube account that owns your channel and in your channel. So you can see right now I'm in the website Success with Chrissy Ray, and then you're just gonna go to Manage Videos. So if you go to Manage the Videos, there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you one of them, but you could, you could just go over here where it says Subtitles, you can click on that, and that will give you a list of all your videos that have subtitles, and then you can go through and edit the subtitles from there. I'm gonna do it slightly differently. I'm gonna go here to uh, the video. So how to evaluate free WordPress themes. You can just click on the details right there. That's gonna take you into the details for the video. And over here on the left side, I will click on subtitles. And so we can see here that I've got a couple of different subtitles. Uh, I've got my English subtitles. Uh, I've got one that doesn't actually have, that's not published right now. Um, I could go through and I could add my subtitles there. I can turn on auto sync and it'll automatically uh, add the, the, the captions for me. I'm not gonna do that right now, but let me just card changes. But the other thing you can do is you can edit the automatic captions. So let's do that with this video. So right here, I'm gonna click on duplicate and edit and it's gonna overwrite my existing English caption, which is this one up here that I already made a copy of. And here we go. So you can go through and edit this as text. So I can just go in and I like to capitalize things uh, where that, are, that should be capitalized. So hello, welcome to Chrissy's Quick Tips, that's the title, and add punctuation. So I go through and like a comma should go there. And I like to go through and make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Everything's got the right punctuation. It's not just a string of words. You wanna make it as easy as possible to read for someone that's actually using the captions to view your content. So you just go through, and by the way, you can click on edit timings, and that's gonna show you the videos or the captions with the actual times that they're gonna appear on the screen. You can adjust those if you need to. If you needed to add another caption, you could do that as well. Uh, you can tap here on each of these bars of text to edit that specific section. If you want to, it goes through. But when you're done, you'll click on publish. And after you publish it, it's gonna add it to the list of subtitles that you've got. If you decide you don't wanna use those after all, you can delete them if you need to. You can also add captions for other languages. So if you've maybe downloaded the captions, so I, maybe I downloaded these captions, which you can do by clicking on those three dots. You can click on download, download them to whichever format you wanna edit. Uh, on, I'm on a Mac and if I download SBV, it will let me, let me just save this real quick. It'll let me open that in a text editor and I can go through and make changes to that. So you could use this to create captions in other languages. Uh, it'll have all the timings and everything in there. You can make those changes and then you could add a language if you wanted to and then choose a language that you wanted to add. So maybe I was adding English, United Kingdom. And you can see here I can click on add and I can upload a file or I can auto sync or I can type it in manually. So it's really important to add whatever languages your audience is using, if you're able to add those languages. I do all of my videos in English and I just leave them in English. I don't create uh, any translations of them. But in the future, if I find that I have an audience that's using another language, that might be something I would do. So super important to do this. I hope you found this useful and I will catch you in the next video.